ain't no Gretzky. Hoping these lame won't catch me. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Bad. She straight, no Gretzky. Hoping these lame won't catch me. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Stizzy pop. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, laid back since 96. And I'm back at it with another sideline story. Okay? This sideline story is about the time I, you know, I just slipped into some trouble at a basketball court. You know? This court, this basketball court was literally like by my house. Like, say you go down the hill to the right and half like halfway up this little this other little part of the hill and you're there you know what i'm saying um didn't take five minutes to even get there it took maybe four to two minutes depending on how tired you was or how energized you were it take you four to two minutes going from one to the other so that was that um probably not even four minutes two to three minutes but, but um one time during the summer before ninth grade, before ninth grade, yeah, there was, I had went to the court, you know what I'm saying? I had went to the court, I was chilling, you know what I'm saying? Because I usually go to the court, like, every weekend, like, every other day, I would go to the court, like, it was nothing, like, I'd just be going to the court, going to the court, going to the court, you know what I'm saying? Basketball used to be... Well, still is my favorite sport, but you know, it used to be my favorite sport to play. You know? Now it's football, but you know, that's another thing. Either way, I was going to this court and I met this dude there. He was an older man and he had like two of his little kids there. You know, we were just hooping, shooting around, you know what I'm saying? Having a good old time, nothing too serious, you know? We chilling, we vibing, we having fun. Um, we hooping or whatever, and um, we shooting around, and we hear this sharp sound coming from um, like at this court you go to. It's across the from these railroad tracks, and then it's like this um way you could drive up there, and you can, um, you can see these cars or whatnot go go across over there. It was the guys that maybe maybe two years older than me at the time shooting what it seemed like shooting at the cars and which I gotta understand some before ninth grade your boy still kind of gullible very much so gullible um a lot of things went through my mind passed through them I didn't really even like think twice about it, you know what I mean? It's stupid! It's stupid! It's stupid! It's stupid! It's just certain things you'd be like. But wouldn't you think like with me it wasn't like that? It just like it just fall right through the fall right through the crack and go on. It's like, uh, eh, didn't think about it. Now, now stuff is hype. Now stuff is like what? Like, I think a lot, a lot of stuff. I rethink about a lot of stuff. But anyway, point is, we're going back off topic. But back on to the topic, they would, it seemed like they were shooting at cars. So we heard this sound. I was like, dang, are they, are they throwing rocks? Well, well, we, well we, all we knew was it sounded like some sharp sound was hitting something like a car, something metallic like a car. And at first, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. At first, we thought it was just them throwing rocks at the cars. You know what I'm saying? It was three of them. It was a tall, lanky one that was brown. It was a short, dark-skinned one, and there was another one that was like medium. And he was um, I don't know what the heck he was. I don't even remember his skin tone. I just remember the other two. One of them, I actually hooped with before at the court. You know, hooped against. I never hooped with him, but you know, it's the fact that I was in a game with you. Never had a problem before or whatever, so it, it's crazy, it's cool, but um, um, but okay, I'm gonna go back to why uh, I even recognized the Nike ones, I've never seen them before, before this day, but um, so we hear that, and you know, we shooting and whatnot, we shooting like, what is that? And like 10 15 minutes later, they come down. 
from up there, like say this is the court and you could go over there through the gate and then you go over the um, tracks and it's like a neighborhood there. But if you keep going to the tracks, you can end up going up there by where traffic is at a higher level. So they came from the tracks and the woods too because it, like, it was like vegetation and trees over there. So they came from this way. So all we know is they came from that way past the um, railroad tracks still. They were just, um, they sat, like they came, they came, if I remember right, they came with a rifle. They came with the rifle. Uh huh? 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 Like they, yeah, they had, they had the rifle with them, I believe. If I'm thinking back right, like, oh my gosh, the heck? Anyway, so they came like, and I, I swear to God, I can't even make this up to y'all. The rifle, they had a rifle with them, okay? The rifle looked like a literal M, M14 off of Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops. Look it up, look it up on Google now if you want to. Type in Google, Call of Duty Black Ops MK14. That's what the gun looked like. I'm telling you, there's no games for this. I'm dead. I'm dead ass. I'm so serious. That's exactly what the gun looked like. But um, so they came down with the gun or whatever. They they they, they but they but they were you know what I'm saying. It wasn't nothing ma malicious with it. You know what I'm saying. They just had it casually, and I guess like that's when we was like like we was pretty much getting into the stuff like oh they went throwing rocks at uh because we heard like we heard some hidden cars hidden metallic stuff. We was like they went throwing rocks at. Car, they were shooting at. That's crazy. But um, you know, me and the guy with his two kids were still hooping or whatever. And then you know, maybe twenty to thirty-five minutes later, he getting ready to go. He was like, and I didn't think about it, man, y'all. It's crazy. You know, looking back on it after going through the situation and thinking back on the situation, like, why would God put me through that and stuff? And like why what what happened trying to understand why what happened happened dude literally tried to warn me about it but we don't go, i'm getting ahead of myself so dude dude was like dude crazy this dude that's a true man man i've never seen that man again but um uh, i'm stopped on that court after all that but um uh, that dude legit was like hey man don't think it's kind of late to get on you gonna go back home you know what i'm saying he was like you, you, you still you still want to poop? Like, you about to go? You sure you don't want to go with us? Or, or go go ahead and leave with us or whatever? Don't you, uh, well, he didn't say it like that. He was like, ain't you tired? You ready to go? Like, he was saying kind of sick. Like, basically what he was saying, like, nigga, don't you think it's time for you to go? Because I'm about to leave. And I don't know what these kids about to be doing. And I thought we both was under that impression. They over there doing some other stuff. And we ain't with that. But again, you know, my gullible self... My naive self didn't even think about it. Didn't even pick up on the hints. Like this guy is trying to make sure you get outside, out, you know, get away from them safe, and you ain't even his child. But you know, my goofy ass, like I'm just trying to hoop. <laughs> I'm just trying to hoop. <laughs> I'm trying to hoop. I'm like, like I'm just like a kid just trying to I'm like, oh, I'm good. See. So like seven minutes after they leave, the guys, they ended up on, um, I don't know what they did first. I think um, I was shooting. And then dude, tall lanky dude, because the only reason I remember his ass, is he hit me in the back of the head. I'm like, and he made a coconut sound. Hey. Bro, what's good? What you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what you doing? And I guess he thought he was gonna knock me out with that. Or something. Thought he gonna sneak. I guess he thought he was gonna sneak me or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what you doing, bro? And after all the, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. He hit me pretty hard, y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why he thought he could just knock me out and stuff. And then when he did that, I'm like, what you doing, bro? And the other two going through my bag, and I'm like, oh snap, because in my bag I had my phone. I don't think I bring, brought my wallet. I ain't need no reason to bring my wallet. I wasn't driving or nothing at the time, so you know, I didn't bring my wallet. Just brought my phone. So they're looking at my bag, and I guess they look at my bag trying to find something valuable to steal from me, I guess. That's that's what it is. My, it was a black mesh bag, and at the time I had an LG Shine. 
Look it up. Go to Google. LG Shine. That was a slide phone. Had a mirror on the on the front screen. You feel me? Very useful at the time. But um, yeah, man. You know, dude, knock me on the back of my head. I'm like, what the heck? What are you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? And while I'm looking at him trying to understand what the heck he doing, I'm like, oh, they tried to sneak me. They tried to take all my stuff. You know, they didn't take none of it. I had snacks in there. I had, like, little crackers and my phone. They didn't take none. I'm over here like, yeah, I'm about to get my ball. I'm about to go. I'm like, because I'm over here looking at this. Because this dude just looking at me crazy. And I'm just like, nigga, the fuck you? Like, like, in my mind, I'm like, what you doing? But as I'm, I, like, I asked that, like, in a normal thing. Because I'm like, he ain't back there. I'm like, what the heck, man? But, um, I was like, I was like, you know, I'm quiet. Because, like, I was going to fight, dude. And the thing was, that, that's nothing, y'all. I got to like I told y'all, like, back in my, um, in my water fiasco video, or the, was it the, um, hide and seek, unexpected hide and seek video, whichever one it was, I told y'all, no booze. I literally processed this stuff, like, it was a hide and seek video. Remember I said I processed the whole thing that the dog won't be able to get out or whatever, and all that stuff, I'm like, the dog is chained, and the gate is locked. It'd be a whole different like thing, but I literally I was going when I did that. I was like, "Dude, what you doing?" And I processed the fact that it was three guys against me. I'm like, if I go over here and try to strike this dude, these other two are gonna hit me, bro. These other two are gonna gang up on me, man. I didn't even think about the gun. I'm like, dude, it's three on one. It's not gonna happen. That's why I looked at him crazy because I'm like, dude, you're not gonna sit here. And do like he knew, he knew I was ready to fight him. I was like, what you doing? Like I'm like, what you doing, dude? And he looking at me like he kind of like he like you know kind of stuff back, but he was like. And I'm just like, what you doing? And then I was going to strike him. But like I said, I thought about it. I was like, three people can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I told you. My mind be working, man. I'm talking about I'm talking about 0.7 seconds. Mine was working. But I was like, uh, won't be able to do it. Can't get his ass. Three on one. It's not going to work. So, you know, I had to let him go ahead and just go through my bag. Because I'm like, because I was about to knock old tank, long, long tank, um, lanky dude out. But I'm like, three on one, what I'm going to do? Real stuff. Like, what? What I'm going to do? Three on one. And I didn't even think about the gun at the time. You know what I'm saying? So even if even if I got, even if I was able to knock out lanky dude one hit, hit out the other dude one hit, dude, other dude going to probably have to be able to get to the gun and, huh, game over. So, you know. But it didn't get like that. I wouldn't even think about the gun. I'm like, three on one, it's not gonna work. Cause I, I swear, my first instinct was like, what you doing? I was, I turned around like, what you doing? And I was going, and I was like, and really, I swear, I can't make this up, y'all. 0.5 seconds, 0.7 seconds, a second at the most. I was like, can't do it. Cause I, my instinct was to go and hit him. I'm like, you don't touch me, dude. You don't know me. Don't touch me. Go hit me back in here for what? You ain't playing games with me. You ain't shooting the ball with me. What you, what you, what you, what you, what you punch me for? But three on one can't do nothing, bro. So I had to let that go. They went through my bag. They ain't take nothing. You know what I'm saying? And after that, I'm like, shoot. All right. I said. So all I did that I was like, because I was like, man, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? He still went through my bag or whatever. But I'm like, what you doing? And I'm going to get my bag, get my ball going next, going to my bag. You know, he put my bag down after he looked at it. I got my bag. Got my, my coat or whatever. And, you know. I walked away and then I started running because I started running. They got a gun. I'm like, and I don't think I'm thinking, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Running through the own little playground thing. I'm running. I'm like, the only thing I'm thinking about is like a sharp feeling through my head. Like they're going to shoot me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, they got a gun, dude. Got a good old, they had a big old assault rifle. These people, they ain't, they ain't no older than 17. Got this giant, they 16, 17, got this giant, I'm telling y'all. Look up, Call of Duty, Black Ops, MK14, or M14, whichever one it is. <coughs> That's the rifle they had, y'all. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm about to get myself, I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm running, running, man. I did not stop till I got like halfway down the street. Cause I was a white boy. I was a, ooh, from the court, from the court, from the court to halfway to that street before you turn left to go up my hill. Boy, that's a, that's a good little walk. And I ran. Like I said, I ran with my coat, my backpack, my ball. I'm running, boy. I'm gone. I'm like, I'm on my base site. And I look back, and I'm like, okay, I can chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the heck just happened? You know what I'm saying? Catch my breath. 
jump, man. No, no, I went on to the house, you know what I'm saying? When I get in there, I'm telling my older sister about the jump. Because at first, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, did that really just happen? I was like, what the heck just happened? I'm like, did that just really happen? I'm like, what the heck just happened? You know what I'm saying? You hear this stuff on the news and stuff. And, you know, you read books about this stuff. And you're like, yo, I think this stuff really happened. And you like, people just randomly harassing people for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't bothering nobody. Why they bothering me? You know what I mean? I'm like, what the heck? Crazy stuff, man. So I ended up going telling my sister, my older sister about the junk. I'm like, man, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I tell her, you know, it's more vivid than that. I'm over there like, man, look. I was just playing basketball. I didn't tell her thing about the um about the dudes. I'm like, these dudes, they was soon as car they come down down and you know, go to my bag, dude hit me. And then, you know, yeah. And I told the same thing. I, I promised her when I told my my parents, my sister. I told that one thing that stuck in the same story, and I remember because it was just like vivid because it was in my mind. I was like, and I and I didn't even think about why would I tell my parents this, but you know, I was like, and I just ran, and I was just like, I was just scared, of, you know, like just scared of feeling this sharp pain in my head, them shooting me in the head, right? And you know, and when I told my dad that, John, I know it must have hurt, man. I know it must have hurt. He was just like, you would have felt no sharp pain because you would have died. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what? I don't want you going back to that court no more. And I'm like, you know what, Dad? But no, Dad. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to stay away from the court for like a month or two, but I'm going to go back. I just want to go back, you know, by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I would have went. You know, if people were there, I was going to be there. Like, if people were there running running games, I was going to be there. You know what I'm saying? If it was running tournaments and shit, I was going to be there. If it was just nobody there, I wasn't going to do that because I'm like, same thing could happen, you know what I'm saying? So, but my dad was like, don't go back to that court. And for the most part, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? After that kind of experience, I was like, why? Hooping ain't that important to me, you know what I'm saying? Lost a little, lost a step on my, on my, on my hooping skills after that, though, you know? Having a court right by your house, you know what I'm saying? You be able to keep up on your hooping skills. And, but shoot, after that much, you know, I wasn't really... Um, like practicing my basketball skills much if it wasn't at the school. So, but, um, yeah, yeah, that's my sideline story. If you enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? If you was into it, immersed, like the video. Okay. If you like this content, you like how I express my stories to you. Guess what you can do? <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> it, it, it takes it takes a click, guys. Come on, subscribe. Join the layback tribe. We trying to build. We trying to build something. Trying to grow, and we trying to grow with you. So help me, help me grow us, okay? But um, without further ado, it's your boy Layback Sensei ninety six, and I'm out. Don't take my kindness for weakness. They told me see to believe it. So now you got give me that, give me that back. Yeah, give me that, give me that. Give me that, give me that, ayy Man, you gotta give me that, give me that back